All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel and Live web application. And in this video, we'll be working on table online editing functionality. So in the previous video, we added the role feature. And for changing the role, we directly changed from here, right? So instead of doing that, currently we are logged in as admin. So now admin can change the role of the user, specific users, directly from here. So let me show you. Currently we are logged in as admin. So currently this user have the role of user. So we can change this user role back to admin directly from here. See how cool this is. So this is done with live web. And if I refresh the page, and it is also set to our database as well. We can add this functionality by editing over here. But instead of doing that, I want to show you how we can do table inline editing feature in any of our project. So I think this is the best example to show you. So let's get started. Okay, so now let's go to list users.blade.pc file, list users, and over here, after this register date, let's add the role field. Let me copy this. And let's change this to role. And over here, let's display that role. Okay. So we'll be using the select input. So let's do select. And I think we done near this. And we'll be having the options. Okay, we'll have option of admin and admin. And another option so will be user and it will be user okay so now let me refresh the page and we see it right so now let's add the class of form control to style it and it is looking good but currently it is saying that every role is admin so we want to show a specific role that is assigned, right? So to do that, let's add the conditional over here. So we can do if the user role equals to admin, then let's make this as selected. Otherwise, leave it empty. And then let me copy this and let's do the same for user as well. If user role is user, then let's make this selected, otherwise leave it empty. So now if I refresh the page and we see it, this user have the role of user and those are coming from the database, right? So now if we change this user role to user, it will not work, right? We need to make this working. So let's do that. With LiveWare, there is one directory called wire change, right? And we can listen for the change event. So on wire change, let's call the method. Let's say change role and call this method for now. And we need to create this method in our list users component, right? So now let me add that method over here called change role and let me dial it down here. Okay, now if I change this and we are calling that method and we are on right track, right? So first of all, we need to pass this specific role that we are going to select, right? We are going to change because currently the role is admin and we want to change this to user and we need to pass that user to this function right so let's do that so for that we'll be receiving the role and then we can direct on the role over here so we can pass that role so for passing the role we can simply do event dot target dot value okay so now if i change this user role to user and we passed it right if i change to admin and we have it it's perfect 
So we need to pass the user as well because we need to tell that which user we are going to change this whole. So we need to pass the user as well. Let's do let's pass the user as well. So pass the user, we need to do like this, and then we need to pass the user. And let's receive that user. Okay, so now if I dial down the user, let's see what it will give. So let's change this user role to user, and it's and it is displaying the array, right? But we want the offset so that we can change the user role directly through offset. So to receive the offset, we need to type in the user. Okay, so now if I die if I check the result, let's see. Let's change this to user and we see the complete object of the user. Right? So now we can change the role easily. So to change the role, we can simply do user and then update. We want to update the role and we want to update it, the role that we are passing over here. Right? So now let me refresh the page and let me try it out. Currently this user have the role of admin, so let, let's make this role to user. Okay, so now if I refresh the page and it is not working, right? So this is not working because on our user model, we need to add that field on our fillable array, right? So let's add that. And we want add role. Let's try one more time. Let's change this to user. And if I refresh the page, and it is it is saved to our database, which is perfect. So now let's add the proper those notifications so that admin will get notified that it got changed. Okay. So let me go to list users, and then let me copy one of the one. And then let me paste it over here. And we want instead of hiding the form, we will be dispatching the event called updating, right? With a message of let's say role. Let's do this double inverted comma, and then role sends to, and we can pass the role over here like this then it did something successfully okay now let me try it one more time we are listening to the event updated event on our app that related PSP file let me show you that let me search for updated yeah we are listening for that updated event and we are displaying that notifications so let me try one more time Let's change this user role back to admin, and it will send that role change to admin successfully. If I change back to user, and it is send that role change to user successfully. Okay, which is perfect. Now, one more important thing remaining is to add validations, right? Because anyone can change this role. Let me show you. First, let me select this one and then let me duplicate this duplicate element and let's say author and let's say author over here as well okay so now if i change this user role to author and it is saying that role changed to author successfully but we don't Need to make this happen right actually it got set to our database as well let me show you that see here we didn't want to make this happen so we need to prevent that using validation so that user can have user can assign the role that we have okay so to do that let's add the validation let me go to list users to build a PSA file and over here let's add the validations so validation validator 
map the validations for the role with these rules okay and the for rule let's say role should be required and it should include either admin or user for now okay and then we need here we need to pass array so let's pass array role and then role and let's import the namespacing currently my auto import is not working so let's me yeah it is already here so i don't need to edit okay perfect so let's try one more time okay so we are here and if i change this let me duplicate this one again and let's say this is author and let's make this as author okay currently it is the first one is already selected so let me delete this element and then let me duplicate this one let's make this as author and the value is author okay so now if i change this one it is saying that role sends to author successfully and here we forgot to call the validate method right so let's try one more time let me select this one and then over here let me duplicate this element and let's make this as author and then author and if i change this user role to author it will not work right because here we have added the validation and saying that it only include either admin or user so that currently we are passing the author so it is not accepted right so if i refresh the page and it is not saved to our database which is too good and so instead of using a spring as admin or user previously we defined the constant over here so let's use those constants okay so we cannot use this constant directly from you know, here so let's use the array syntax instead of this one so let me do that rule and let's do define the array over here and let's say the role is required and so include for include let's do rule and then in and it should include either user role admin or user role user okay so we need to import this namespacing and it is not working for me so let me add that manually so use illuminate validation and then rule okay so now let me refresh the page and it will still work which is perfect so now let me remove it from here so this much for this video so i hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel till then have a great time and i will see you on the next video